Good evening. Hi guys, good evening. How are you doing? Hi, Miss. Hello. 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 Hi, Mr. Castaneda. How are you? I'm um, fine. Thank you. Great to see you. Day, good evening. Hi, Debra. Abigail, thank you for joining. Griselda, great to see you too. Uh, good Yvette, good, Carla, good evening. evening, girls. How are you? How is your Wednesday going? Hey, Lupita, how are you? Are you doing okay? Isaias? Hi there, how you doing, Isaias? Are you doing okay? Are you doing fine? Thank you so much for joining, guys. Really good to see you. Welcome to the belly bottom of the week. So, bienvenidos a Jail. Um, El ombligo de la semana, right? So welcome to this belly bottom here. Um, guys, I hope you're having a really good day. I hope your Wednesday is going all right. Uh, we are going to uh, go over a couple of things today. Vamos a uh, dar inicio. We're going to get started con ya eh, parte de la unidad, so part of unit number two. And uh, eh, esta unidad les comentaba que vamos a trabajar pasados, así que, guys, eh, really great to have you over here. And so we can start, um, you know, practicing a little bit as well. So give me just a moment. Let me take a look here. Okay, so revisamos attendance, guys, en un par de minutos. Solo esperamos que los demás se logren conectar también. Give me one sec. Okay. Okay, guys. So, um, to get started, eh, agradecerles a quienes ya terminaron eh, parte de la plataforma, unit number one and number two. Si todavía tenemos ejercicios pendientes, eh, Siempre pueden avanzar, you know, and um, you can take the time para regresar and complete those exercises. Um, please, intentemos terminarla eh, ahead, right? Eh, para que sea un poco más fácil para ustedes. So it can be a little easier and a little faster. And, okay, one sec. Okay. Okay, guys, with that being said, let's get started today's session. Um, I have some pictures for you. Vamos a revisar un poquito de uh, memory. We're gonna just check how good your memory is going. Vamos a revisar ahora un poquito de activities you do at work. Eh, preguntas, como armar preguntas con WH question, cosas que I'm sure ustedes se recuerdan todavía. And uh, uh, then, iniciamos un poquito con pasados as well, right? So, guys, to get started, I have the first activity here, and it is the following. Les voy a mostrar una foto. I'm going to show you one picture. And uh, tenemos 30 segundos, guys. We're going to have 30 seconds. Um, so, you can, with the picture, Vamos a intentar recordar tanto como podamos. So try to remember as many things as you can, right? Solo son 30 segundos, así que es bien rápido. Please, no le vayan a tomar foto. Eh, or captura, <laughs> because that is not the idea. Solamente look at it. Eh, veamos qué tan buena memoria or retention, you know. Um, yeah, like memory retention you had or... The, Eh, si tiene, si presta mucha atención a los detalles and everything. So guys, let's get started here. Let's see how it goes. Tenemos 30 segundos para memorizar tanto como puedan about the following picture. 30 segundos, guys. 30 seconds.
Okay, guys, and time is over. So, guys. I hope you remember a little bit. Espero que hayan podido ver un poquito. You remembered. And I have some questions for you. So, uh, number one. Are you ready, guys? ¿Están listos? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. So, question number one, guys. How many children are there in the picture? Eight, How many eight, children? Eight, four, four, four children. Four. Okay. Four, you agree? Does everybody agree? Four children? Okay. okay, for children, that's okay. Next question, guys. How many women are there in the picture? Three women. Incluyendo Three las women. mayores, right? How many um, women? Okay. No. Four? Four women? Four? Five? Three? Okay, wait. I'm going to write it. Uh, I'm going to write the... The question es here. Que hay bebés que no. Mm, no, but ella. sin los bebés, without babies. <laughs> oh, just okay. the whole oh, people. Uh, so five women. babies, you said four. Three. Okay, so how Three. many women? Three. Three. Okay, I, Three. I heard Three. I heard four. Okay. Okay, we're going to check it in a moment. No worries. My next question, guys. Um, How many? How many glasses of orange juice did you see? One uh, orange glass. Orange glass. One. One? Oh, okay. Only one? I, I, I remember only one. Do you remember only one? I'm sorry. I think I heard somebody. Deborah, I think it was you, pero se me sacó. Se me sacó. Se me sacó. Se me sacó. I saw three. three you saw three. Okay. But only one has oranges. But only one with oranges. Okay, we're going to check that out in a couple of minutes. Next question, guys. What color, what color is the cake? Yellow. Guys, me hace que le tomaron. Ay, yes, yellow. Yellow. Wow. Oh my goodness. I have the feeling que le tomaron picture. <laughs> okay, wow. let's take a look. Let me show you. Se los presento. Let me show you. And we compare really quick what you got. So, uh, let's take a look. How many children? Yes, you got it. So you have one, two, three, and four, right? Mm -hmm. Women, guys, how many women are there? Three women. Only three, exactly. So there are three women. What about glasses of orange juice? How many can you see? Um, two. No one. Ah, oh, two. two. El otro está a la par del pastel. Okay. Otro vasito con agua. Okay, how many do you see? ¿Cuántos hay en total? Two, three? Two? Uh, two. <laughs> yeah, right? It looks like yeah. two. So there are two. Um, so, de hecho, acá parece que hay otro, but it's not so clear. So let's say one, and let's say this is a second one. And the other, uh, it looks like water, so we don't water. know. Okay, uh, and the last question was, what color? Hi, Jorge, thank you. What color is the cake? So you said uh, yellow, very nice. So that is really good. Okay, okay, perfect. Now, guys, I have one more picture. Let's see if you can get it. Let's see how many details you are able to get. You have 30 seconds. No le tomen capturas, so don't write it. Just look at it. Tiene muy buena memoria, guys. You have a really good memory. Let's go forward. One second. There you go. 30 seconds. Good evening, Miss. Hey, Camilo. Good evening. Are you driving? Sí, I'm driving, Miss. Oh. Voy a estar un poco pendiente de la clase. Gracias, gracias por conectarse. Be careful. Ok, ok. Mm. 
Okay, and time is over. Okay, mm. guys, let's see how much information you remember. So, question number one. How many people are wearing white color? Three people. Three people. Three? Two. I remember two. White color? Four people. Mm. Four. Okay, so I heard three. I heard four. Let's see how it goes. Okay, next question. How many women are wearing high heels? Like the conesaltos, right? How many women are wearing high heels? One. One? Uh, I don't know. Two. Two? Eso no vi. Eso no lo vio. No, okay. Ponte hasta las macetas, pero no los zapatos. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, one, two, no idea? I don't have idea. Okay, no idea. That's all right. Next one, guys. How many chairs are there in the picture? How many uh, chairs can you see? Uh, Seven. Eight. Six. Six. Eight. Six, seven, eight. eight. Seven, four and four. Eight, eight, four, seven. Eight, seven. Eight, seven. Okay. Yes. Repeat. How many chairs? How many chairs can you see? Okay, so I think that some are not quite sure. So let's take a look at the other one. Give me one second. Okay, let me take a look. And my last question, guys. Um, so what color? What color is the floor? I guess white. I don't know, teach. Yes, I don't remember. You can guess what color is the floor? White. White? Come on, beige. Beige? Okay, let's take a look. I'm going to show you the picture. Give me one moment. And um, okay, Javier, thank you so much. Be careful. So I hope you get to your house sound and safe, guys. Okay, let me show you here really quick. So um, da -da -da -da, let's check it out. So how many people are wearing white color? So we have dimension four. Uh, yeah, actually, it's uh, like three. She has something white, but I don't know if that would count. I would say maybe not, but that was all right. Uh, next question is, how many people are wearing high heels? Uh, guys, do you see high heels? One. No. No? No. One, no one. Nobody. Actually, I was like, uh, I was trying to get more details because uh, this girl no se le ven mucho los zapatos, right? We cannot see it like super, super well. But it looks like a no. It looks like um, nadie está vistiendo high heels. Looks like nobody is wearing high heels. Okay, guys. And the last question: Who is wearing? Um. So who is wearing? Uh. Let me see. Oh no! What color is the floor? You said kind of beige. Yeah. Right. It's like white beige. 
So there we go. Okay, excellent job, guys. That's actually very nice. And that is the ending of this activity. Very good job with that. So, uh, vamos a revisar, guys, un poquito en las conversations que tenemos ahora. Parte del um, vocabulary que vamos a trabajar eh, are related to companies eh, and are related to your jobs. So, quienes trabajan like in some specific areas. Um, so guys, I have some questions for you. Give me one moment. Okay, just a second. I'm gonna change the color here. Okay, so um, first of all guys, uh, so I have the following name some companies where you have worked okay so guys to get started uh, vamos a revisar un par de palabras el día de ahora relacionadas con manufacturing so manufacturing manufacturing and uh, also we are going to check the word uh, branch or branches and we are going to check the word headquarters but to get started me gustaría saber eh, en qué área han trabajado guys like where have you worked so look at my first um, statement here it says name some companies where you have worked guys aparte de la empresa donde están ahorita a dónde han trabajado where have you worked Oh, pueden abrir el micrófono. You can open up your microphone and tell us. No es necesario que lo escriban. So, claro, si lo quieren compartir, right? Si hay alguna empresa que no quieren decir, it's okay, no problem. Uh, so, guys, ¿en qué empresa he trabajado antes? Where have you worked? Or uh, solamente han trabajado para esta empresa. Guys, ¿cuántos empleos han tenido en su vida? How many jobs have you had before? Two, three, four. ¿En cuántos lugares han trabajado? In how many places have you worked? Uh, uh, during six, six. Six places. Okay, six places. Six. Mm -hmm. Three places. Three places. Okay, six, three. Six, six or six. Six? Six. Okay. six. Five or six. six okay, place. five or six. Two places. places. Two places. Okay, wow. I work in five places. Five places. Okay. Oh, not much. Okay. Interesting. Most of you have worked like in five or six. Okay. Okay. And now, guys. Any has any of those companies been, been like a manufacturing company? Like, for example, in El Salvador, there are some companies that, uh, like Capri, they make beds. Uh, some companies like Alas, right? And they make paper or toilet paper or towel paper. Any other company, guys, that is a manufacturing company? No, miss. We have a lot in El Salvador. So we have some in San Marcos. We have some in all this Una Franca, in Santa Ana too, uh, where we have um, American Park. So, and you know, we have a lot of them. Any other company that you remember? It could be La Sal. Y la sal. Yes, of course. Y la sal, that's one. Also, uh, we have Molinos del Salvador uh, in Antiguo Cuscatlán. So they make um, like uh, powdered, corn powdered, and uh, spaghetti, I believe. I'm not sure. Any other company, guys, that is related to manufacturing?
for example, um, Olsim. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the same company. Yep, that's right. That Duralita. is one. Okay. Duralita. Also, you have the other one, Sincalum, uh, that I think is a company, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Guys, what about restaurants? ¿Alguien ha trabajado en restaurantes? Have you worked in restaurants before? Uh, I work in. Um, okay. Uh, uh, ¿Cómo se dice hace mucho tiempo? Long time ago. Long, long time ago. Ah, I okay. Uh, when did you work? Pizza Hut. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Nice. Uh, uh, did you cook? No. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, did, did you steal the recipes? <laughs> I don't understand. Did you steal the recipes? No se robó las recetas. You don't have the recipes. Uh, sí, se, se aprende. Okay. Uh, eh, tuve la oportunidad de trabajar en, allá por el año 2000 y algo. En, 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 en muy buen lugar para trabajar. Oh, okay. I'm glad to hear you had a really nice experience there. Okay, guys, anybody else? Nadie más ha trabajado en restaurantes? You're not working in restaurants? Oh, okay. Drinks? ¿Alguna empresa relacionada con bebidas? Any drinking company? La Constancia, that is one of the best companies in El Salvador, I think, where you can work? No, nobody. No, no es para mi mala suerte, no. <laughs> uh, actually, yeah, uh, some people say that La Constancia is a really nice place. I don't know why, but I have heard those Como comments. se dice, teacher, solo somos consumidores. We only <laughs> consume. We only consume. We only consume. Okay. Ok, so, guys, then, eh, entonces todos hemos trabajado en el área de servicios, I believe, right? So, prestamos un servicio. We give a sort of service. No, we don't produce, but we just give services. Ok, okay sounds all right. So, um, I'm asking you this because hay un par de expresiones que vamos a trabajar and before, I think it's really important. Uh, to check those beforehand. For example, tenemos manufacturing. So manufactured or manufacturing company, um, como los compañeros decían, right? So tenemos Ilasal, uh, we have Alas, we have this one, lo que me recuerdo, like Molinos del Salvador, because they produce. We have a Capri in El Salvador. We have any other? Las textileras, guys, the ones in textile. ¿Alguna idea de alguna empresa? Or do you work in any company? Any company? Cartonesa. Uh, okay. Front of the es que En El Salvador hay muchos. There are a lot, but a lot of companies. Probably we just don't know the names. Unilever también. Ah, uh, Unilever. But quick question, uh, because Unilever, no sé si es el distribuidor, or do they produce? Are produce. they the manufacturer? Hay manufacturers. Ah, Hay ok. Hay pico. Ah, Por okay. esa zona queda. Ok, so Unilever. Es de la Kimberly. Kimberly Clark, right? La con mm -hmm. la Kimberly. Uh -huh. En Molsa, guys. Do you have an idea? Alguien ha trabajado por ahí? Have you worked in that area? Nobody. Okay. Okay. So those are like manufacturer, manufacturing companies or manufacturer. So they produce products, right? They make. So they make TVs or normally también hay ensambladoras en El Salvador. So we can also, you know, use them in that industry. Then we have branches. Um, so, uh, for example, Luis mentioned that he worked in Pizza Hut, but Pizza Hut has branches in El Salvador, like a lot. 
So they have branches in San Salvador, Santa Ana, La Union, right? So they have a small restaurant in those places. Um, uh, okay, Manuel. No me escucha. Okay, uh, any other company, guys? I have uh, come. Oh, Super Selectos. We have Super Selectos, we have Pizza Hut, we have Pollo Campero. Any other company that has a lot of branches? Como sucursales, like places? A dog. A dog, okay. So a dog. Any other guys? Uh, Las empresas de teléfono. Ah, okay. So, yeah, Tigo, Claro. So, they have like some offices, right? Normally, branches exactly are those, like small offices or restaurants, dependiendo de la empresa, right? So, and the last one we have are the headquarters. Some companies, they have a big office. Uh, they have a administration. They have um, bosses and like everybody, managers are there. So we call them the headquarters. And I'm Miss, a uh, uh, question and the uh, finance system. Uh, where does... Uh, O sea, el sistema financiero, ¿dónde se ubicaría? Hmm, those are, we are in services. So, si nosotros no es algo que producimos, es el sector de los servicios. De hecho, ahorita vamos a revisar, because vamos a revisar las categorías de la industria. Okay. So, we have different industries y hay una para todo el sector financiero. And uh, like restaurants, food, beverages, and all of those. So guys, um, coming back here. So manufacturing are those companies that produce branches, are the offices or um, restaurants in one country or in one area. So, and headquarters are the main or the most important offices. Uh, for example, I know that um, the in Torre Tele, no, it's not Torre Telefonica, it's Torre Futura. Um, you can find the headquarters of Hotel Crown Plaza and the headquarters of, I don't remember, there was another company. It's El Grupo Rom, Rombo, I think, but it's like a big, big company. Uh, guys, what about your headquarters? Does your company have headquarters? Tiene oficinas centrales? Or are you in the headquarters? Headquarters teacher es como oficinas grandes, como grupos. Um, no, headquarters um, is like this, means Our com oh, I cannot do that. Okay. So our companies have, imagine, for example, mm -hmm, exactly. Imagine, okay. for example, you have. Um, I am not sure, so I will give you just an example. Imagine that Pizza Hut El Salvador has, uh, how many guys? A hundred branches? Son muy poquitas. Cien sucursales, a hundred branches? Let's imagine that Pizza Hut has a hundred branches, but all the hundred branches, they have the headquarters um, in La Gran Vía. So the headquarters is like the big office where you can find human resources, managers, and the most important people. So normally all the companies have like a headquarters or las compañías más pequeñas, eh, pues esa es la oficina principal, right? So es la oficina central, let's say, or as Mr. Castaneda mentioned, Casa Matriz para las que se dediquen a la manufactura, right? For the manufacturing companies. 
Um, for you to understand this a little bit, a little better, a little bit, a little better, guys, let's take a look at your material. And we have some of these industry in general. So let me make this just a little bigger. And there we go. So here in the, um, I think it's a sort of bluish color. We have the definition headquarters, the place where a company or organization has its main offices. So um, guys, ¿están ustedes en los headquarters? Are you in the headquarters? O van a otro lugar for meetings? Do you go to another place? Oh, yeah. I go to another place for meetings. Oh, okay. Like another uh, office or another building. Yeah, in ah, the, okay. uh, Salvador City. Ah, and you work in Sosnata, I work right? in Sosnata, yeah. Ah, but the headquarters are in San Salvador. That's, yes, mm -hmm. Miss. Oh, okay, okay. Guys, what about the rest of you? Where are the headquarters? Or do you are you in the headquarters? I work in the headquarters. Okay. Are they in San Salvador? Yes. His name oh. is, is Ericsson El Salvador. Aris, what is the name Ericsson. again? Ericsson El Salvador. Ericsson like the phone. Yes, but but in this time eh, ya no distribuyen celulares. Okay. Ericsson es la, la headquarters y, uh -huh. y Sony era the branches. Okay. Uh, in this time, I work in the headquarters and, and the branches are OFG El Salvador and Secor 24 de Guatemala. Okay. Wait, but you said... Um, Air Ericsson and Sony, like they have an agreement or something. So yeah, if yeah, your yeah. company doesn't sell cell phones, what yeah. do you do? I work in a warehouse store. Okay. Um, and the company this time, uh, we, we fix it and repair maintaining of a permission uh, and telecommunication oh. for the towers, the tower of communication uh, in okay. our family. Oh, so Ericsson changed yes. to like, like uh, to communication towers. Yes. We, oh, we, interesting. We work for to uh, Cell, okay. Telefonica, and Claro El Salvador. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you give maintenance? Yes. Oh, very interesting. Okay. Yeah, because when you said Ericsson, the first thing that came to my mind was the phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but the history, the, the two companies are very interesting because uh, I guess they can follow her uh, his companies because the the money maybe for for this this side they can work all right well but the good thing is that they change they they evolve and you still have a job so interesting interesting that's really good that a lot of people have you know jobs for that company okay yes. thank you so that's Ericsson. Okay, guys. So as they said, so headquarters are the most important offices or the main offices from a company. We're going to discuss that in a moment. Next one, a branch. It's a shop or an office representing a large company in an organization. So shop, office, or in the case of restaurants, the restaurant, right? So those are considered uh, branches. So take a look at the following um, description we have right here. These people are talking about branches and manufacturing branches in El Salvador. 
So let's take a look at it. Um, let me read it. It's not uh, that long. And then you help me practice. So it says, uh, this is between Rick and Jeff. Rick says, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Enix um, Inc. What does Enix Inc do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Enix have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. So take a look at this company. Uh, they manufactured some products, right? So we have cardboard boxes. Guys, any idea what it is? What is a cardboard box? ¿Qué hace la empresa? What do they do? Como cajas para guardar. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So Justo. they make boxes, right? That is the one. Okay. And uh, it says here packaging. So for packaging companies like, hey, quiero cajas, right? Quiero, uh, I don't know, I need boxes uh, para mis televisores. So the company makes the boxes. And so in El Salvador, I think there, there are some packaging boxes, but I don't remember the name. Okay. So take a look at it. Guys, repeat with me, please. Uh, first, we have manufactured. So repeat with me. Manufactured. Manufactured. Manufacture. Cardboard boxes. Cardboard, Cardboard boxes. boxes. Some people pronuncian mm -hmm. la palabra, la segunda palabra, más como una A. So you may hear carbon boxes, boxes. And boxes. it's okay. So boxes, boxes, boxes. that's all right. Um, next one, packaging. 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 Pack packaging. Uh -huh. Like a package, so packaging. That's packaging. the one. Packaging. Okay. Um, may I please have two volunteers, guys? Can you read? Who wants to read? Teacher, excuse me. I, yes, I couldn't get the, the, the idea of cardboard boxes. Um, so cardboard is the material and boxes are just boxes. Uh, like I have a pair of shoes. Wait, I think I have a box. Uh, yeah, I so it's this kind of company that produces, for example, uh, I want a pair of shoes and they come in this. Sorry? With different... With different size, teacher. Um, yeah, it says here for the packaging companies, like um, companies that they um, send package or maybe shoes, maybe TVs, maybe um, like different products. Okay. So mm -hmm. in El Salvador, there are a lot of packaging companies and they are exporting to two other countries. So. But pretty much that's it. Cardboard is a material, right? The carton. So that's the one. Are we all right? Are we good? It's uh, weird. Okay. <laughs> so guys, can I please have two uh, volunteers who wants to help me read? I can read. Okay, thank you, David. Uh, so can you help me please with Rick? And I need a Jack. Who wants to be Jack? It can be a girl or a boy. Me teacher, Dora. Okay, thank you, Deborah. So uh, help me with Jack, please. Okay. Hey, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work for a Inex. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packing. Uh, teacher, I forgot the, the pronunciation. Packaging. Packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. Um, where are the headquarters? There is in Panama. 
All right, thank you so much. Exactly. So there we go. So we have this, that was actually very nice guys, very good pronunciation and very good intonation too. Um, so we have the words manufactured, we have packaging, and I think that was it. All right. Um, so again, we have this company that is making these kind of products. Now, ¿qué sucede si no producimos? What happens if we don't manufacture it? And I think Luis was asking that question before. Uh, y las que no son manufactureras, right? Well, in El Salvador, there is a very specific uh, category for those. Um, one second, and we're going to have it right here in the part below. So take a look at it. We have here something that is called industry type. That means nuestra empresa, you know, the place uh, where we work, the entra in one of these categories. So we have banks, soft drinks, guided tours, cardboard boxes, lo que acabamos de ver, right? Buildings, mobile um, phones, medicine, car components, hair salon services, clothes, y hay muchos más. For example, I don't see my, my branch that, or my industry. That would be um, education, for example. So, but you may find yours right here. So for example, um, let's take a look at the product and the industry. Number one says the finance industry, that would be a bank. So si trabajamos en un banco, oh, that's el área financiera, right? That's the finance industry. Um, guys, what about letter A? The beauty and personal care industry. What do you think um, these, is a good example of what is the service or what is the product that it's can be um, in the beauty? Nine. Nine? nine? Okay. Uh, okay. So I heard salon service that can be a beauty and personal care. Okay. What about construction? Uh, five. Five. Uh, buildings. Yes, exactly. So because you need a lot of tools and uh, a building is made out, you know, in this area. What about textile industry? Any idea? 10 clothes. 10 clothes, okay. So what else do they produce? It's number 10. ¿Qué más produce la área textilera, guys? Any idea? So just clothes? Uh, me, means, uh, sorry. Yes. No le escuché qué significa lo de box scar. Um, box, box. Cardboard, cardboard, okay. Give me one second. Es que no sé si me van a ver por mi computer. Box scar. Box scar. I'll give you an example. Um, I, my recommendation, guys, solamente es no se confunden, que no los engañe <laughs> la palabra rara. All right, so esto. This one, this one is a cardboard box. A caja. Yes, that's it. Yeah. So, llama cardboard por esto, because of the material. Por el uh, but, pero el nombre está como bien fancy, guys. El nombre está como bien, um, bien picky. All right. Oh, okay. Pero okay. es una caja. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's, that's a caja, right? Just is super specific. Okay, next one, number, oh, the, the telecommunications industry. What would it be? Six. Okay. Number six, mobile, ah, okay, so mobile phone. Now I got an idea with Ericsson too, Sony and all those that David uh, told us about. Next one, number, letter F, the auto, automotive industry. What do you think uh, we can include in here? Eight. Number eight. eight. Number eight. Ah, okay. Car components. Can mm. you tell us a company, guys, that is related to uh, cars and car components? Grupo Q. Okay, Grupo Q. What else? A donde compran las spare parts. Donde compran sus repuestos, guys. Where do you buy spare parts? For car, motorcycle, 
Impresa de repuestos. repuestos. Ok, what else? <coughs> en el mismo lugar. <laughs> ok. In the 20 mile. <laughs> Where? Autopark. In, in the 20 mile, en la 29. Ah, ok. No, but on the 29th street, hay muchas de estas empresas. So yes. you have, what, what, where do you buy? Super repuesto. Super repuesto. Autopark. Autoparts. Ok. There is, wait, there is a place I don't, where I don't like to buy. And sorry, no es que sea publicidad or anything, but I don't like to buy in, guys, ¿cuál es el rojo? Like black. In, in red, I think. Impresa repuesto. Impresa, super right? Repuesto. Super no, repuesto. no, that's super repuestos, yes. That's super I don't repuesto. like to buy it there. Repuesto. Yeah, I don't like it. I think they are more expensive than other places. So, I don't know. I don't, I don't like it. But anyways, so that is a car component, right? Next one, packaging industry. Um, Number four, exactly. Four. Remember, four. no se dejen eh, engañar por el nombre bien fancy. Al final son cajas. Those are boxes. Eh, beverage industry. What is this? Number two. Number two, exactly. So what is, okay, uh, quick question. What is the meaning of soft drinks? Soft is suave or, or something like that, no? Oh, ok, ¿alguna idea a qué tipo de bebida se refiere? Soft drinks. Exactly, so soft drinks son bebidas sin alcohol, right? Um, so oh. we just call them soft. So maybe a lemonade, maybe some water, maybe a soda. Um, so it doesn't have alcohol. Pero si tuviera alcohol, igual es beverage industry, right? Igual entran las licoreras in the, in la industria de la bebida. Next one, letter I, the tourism industry. What is that? Mm -hmm. Number three. Number two, three. daddy, no, sorry, number three. 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 Guided three. tours. Any idea in El Salvador of a tour guide or a touristic company? Mm. Mm. Seabar tours. Okay, Seabar tours. All right. A Guys, no tour. les gusta salir? You don't like to go out? Apaneca tours. Apaneca tours. Okay, Apaneca tours. <laughs> so only David knows that area. <laughs> Guys, los demás no salen. You don't like to go out? No les gusta ir a tours? My my favorite like to guided tour is with mochileros. Have you oh, heard yes. about mochileros? Yes. So um I really like mochileros, so that is my favorite, I think. And the last one, guys, the pharmaceutical uh, industry. Um what number seven. is missing? Seven. seven. Number seven, exactly. That's the one. All right, so quick question. What about your company? Is your company in any of these? Encuentran a su empresa en alguno de ellos? Yes, in my case, yes. Okay, where? So for Carla, I believe uh, medicine, right? Yes, medicine. Okay, so that is related to a pharmaceutical industry. Okay. The number one. Oh, okay. Financial institutions. Los demás, guys, what about the rest? Me, number 10. Number 10. So, textile industry. Okay. Hey, Manuel, ya lo yes. escuchamos. I'm glad. Okay, yes, okay. Uh, era. Estoy en la computadora, pero estoy escuchando en la en el teléfono. What? Es algo 
Okay. Tedioso, Qué pero raro. puedo entrar y le escucho Pero la, la computadora no le permitió. It didn't let you. No. Mm, ok, pero en el teléfono sí no se escucha. Tiene el audio, el audio ¿Sí? activado. Ok, si gusta, desactive um, o elimine la aplicación de la computadora. Descárguela nuevamente. Ajá. Y nada. No. Qué súper. Eso acabo weird. de hacer, por eso me conecté al teléfono para no perder minutos conectado. Okay. Pero hice todo, desactivé la aplicación, la volví a activar. La, la, la descargué. Fíjense que es súper raro porque nosotros sí lo escuchamos con el audio de la computadora. Um, ok. ¿Y no será que hay algún botón que le funcione? No sé si su teclado es similar al mío, pero en el keyboard de mi laptop hay un botoncito donde se puede apagar el sonido. Revisa si no está tal vez activado. A veces uno le pasa la mano en... The... Probable sea eso o el audio esté apagado. Porque no... You can't hear me. Ok. <risa> Guys, hay alguien que sea de um, computer programming o IT. You can give us support. Porque ya probamos con... Eh, uh, en, Manuel intentó la, el, el, la prueba de altavoz. Sí, incluso eh, intenté por, digamos que tal vez el sonido o el, o el audio de la copa no me funcionaba. Intenté, intenté en YouTube, música, y sí, sí. se escucha. Me imagino que debe ser ya la aplicación en sí. Maybe que no it needs a new computer. No, that's sí, weird. Ese problema tuve yo cuando empecé a estudiar también. Yo no podía escucharlo, pero sí podía hablar. ¿Y cómo lo solventó, Miss? No, no se puede. Yo hice y deshice con la máquina y nunca se pudo. Entonces empecé a conectarme en el cel. Mm. Pero lo extraño es porque todas las sesiones anteriores sí he estado en la compu. Yeah. Hasta hoy no oh, va, pues a saber que pasó algo, se le ha desactivado. Entonces, okay. Porque lo mío una, sí tú. Porque es Hay como una un el modelo. Eh, porque yo estoy teniendo problemas muchos con Office. Hay una opción en el panel de control que le da la oportunidad de regresar a una hora específica atrás en el tiempo. And, uh, so podríamos probar eso. We can give it a try. Pero déjeme consultar con los chicos de soporte si hay algo más que se puede hacer, porque yeah, siento que eso es muy... Sí, sí. No Pero vaya a ser. Esta clase sí voy a estar en dos dispositivos. Damn, it's okay. It's okay. Lo importante es que, que, que usted nos escuche y que lo escuchemos también, right? Thank you. Gracias yes. por encontrar la solución, right? To find a solution there. Okay. Okay, guys, so coming back to this part, I have the following here. Give me a moment. I have some uh, companies for you. Most of them, we can see them in El Salvador. So what I want you to um, check, guys, really quick, is like, ¿qué es lo que la empresa produce, right? What, com what the company is about. So look at it, it says, Select a product brand and describe what they do. So pretty much, guys, this is one, but we can select more than one. We can select more than one. Eh, si no están familiarizados con la empresa, you can check, you can research. Pueden buscarlo rapidito. I'll give you five minutes. Y vamos a hacer una descripción. We're going to make a description of like, what the company is, de donde es, y qué es lo que producen, right? What they produce, or si son servicios que hacen. For example, guys, let's do um, McDonald's really quick. So we have McDonald's. Okay, um, so McDonald's is, guys, where is McDonald's from? You might have say. Okay, sure. McDonald's is the... so I can say it's an American company. Okay, and yes, and guys, what do they do? Feature in this case, we can say produce. Yes, and they produce hamburger. hamburger. 
hamburgers, okay? So they produce hamburgers. Okay. Just hamburgers. Solo hamburgers, guys, or venden algo más? Food service. Fries, potatoes. They sell fries. Chicken. Food. Uh, somebody says food. ¿Qué tipo de comida? What kind of food? Fast food or junk fast, food? Fast food. Fast food. Okay, so fast food. So I uh, entra, you know, like potato or French fries, right? All of them. ¿Qué más, guys? Teacher, excuse me. Uh, yes. The meaning of junk food. Fast food is food that is prepared fast, like yeah, pizzas uh, and everything that can be in five minutes. Junk food is food that it doesn't matter if it is fast or slow, but it does not give you any vitamin. It's not healthy. It's not healthy, it's not healthy at all. So yo todavía okay. considero las papas fritas healthy, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So, uh, yes. McDonald's also uh, sells este, uh, coffee. Oh, okay. So hamburgers, fast food, coffee. And desserts. Oh, okay. And desserts. Teacher, okay. también pro production uh, ice cream. Oh, okay. So they make ice cream. Mm. Si lo hacen? Do you have any idea? Si ellos lo, lo crean de cero. Mm. No, teacher, it's, no. it's with a skin. Mm, okay, so cambiamoslo. So because make me da la idea or produce me da la idea que lo hacen de cero, right? Digamos they sell. So they sell ice cream. Frosty to the teacher and Frosty's. Yes. Okay. And Frosty's. Okay. Etc. We're going to include this etc. because there are a lot of products that we are not saying. But I think we definitely got it. Guys, what about the rest? We have Colgate. We have these um, other brands, right? Some of them are Salvadorian. We have this computer and um, I think it's an HP computer. So what are those companies from? They don't this one. Guys, you can go on online. You can check your internet. You can check really quick qué es lo que hacen. Uh, la idea no es copiar y pegar, right? I'm gonna go and I'm gonna just say what I read. Si no, ustedes ármenlo, lean rapidito y busquen qué hacen, right? What do they do? Guys, tenemos cinco minutos. Seleccionen al menos tres. You can select three of these brands. And uh, ya las compartimos. Eh, déjeme preguntar, Manuel, si hay algo más que podamos hacer. Let me ask.
Let me know, guys, si necesitan ayuda. Guys, do you need more time? Yes, miss. Okay, no problem. I'll give you some more minutes.
Okay, guys, so tell us what you have and uh, if together vamos a ir comparando, agregando, you know, and adding more information, of course. So let's uh, start with the first. And uh, does anybody have anything about Maya Blanca, the first uh, like battle you have right here? Magia Blanca, guys. I didn't lose a little now. Okay, Manuel, what do you have about Magia Blanca? Colgate. Ah, Colgate. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, the parent company, Colgate, or Palmolive, uh, is funded in 1873. Okay. By William Colgate okay. of um, Madrid. Spain. 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 Mm -hmm. Right. Is, is the company multinational present on more than uh, 200,000? 200. 200. 200 countries mm -hmm. and the location okay. territorial dedicated and uh, a manufacturing distribution of sales, the oral agent, personal agent, and cleaning of home. Okay. Only. Okay, okay. Very interesting. You mentioned that they produce products for dental hygiene, right? So it's para la limpieza. Eh, pero quick question, so Colgate solamente es pasta dentales, right? And cepillo, so that's it. Guys, alguien más escribió Colgate que nos pueda dar like some extra details. Uh, thank you, Manuel, that was a very nice description. Alguien más tiene algo más, anything else que no haya mencionado Manuel? How do you say in English el... el... Para, 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 for brush or uh, teeth. To brush, the brush, it's a pillow. Brush is the, is the name? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be brush. So you use a brush to brush. <laughs> es el mismo, es la misma palabra, brush. Teacher. Teacher. Yes, tell us. Yes. Um, uh, um, also, um, soup, shampoo, conditioner. Colgate. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. En okay. Bucal. Mouthwash. Mouthwash. Uh -huh. Very nice. So they have a shampoo too. Wow, I didn't know. Okay. Probably because in El Salvador, it is more common just the... Eh, la pasta, right? The paste, the brush, y quizás el floss, como el hilo dental, right? Okay, thank you guys, very nice. Um, any other companies? Seleccionaron otra, do you have another? Magia Blanca. Ah, okay, tell us, ¿qué tiene de Magia Blanca? What do you have for Magia Blanca? Uh, the bleach, as, uh, how do you say Magia? Uh, bleach. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, bleach. Bleach, the bleach. Uh, the production plan of Magia Blanca is located in the department of Esquintla. Ah, okay. In the country of Guatemala. Oh, okay. It began operation in 1976. Mm -hmm. seven. Uh, the brand today has a presence in more than five countries. Okay. In Central America? Yes. Okay. And in Peru, in America, uh, in Central America, and in in Peru. Ah, in Peru too. Okay. Oh. And, on, but but they have more products, right? Not only bleach. Um, how do you say detergentes? Powder, uh, washing powder. Uh, in alcohol hill. Ah, okay. Wow, very nice. I'm happy to hear it is from Guatemala. Cool. Yes. So in, in, in El Salvador, 
Do you have any idea? Sabes si tienen uh, like headquarters o algo? Yes, in El Salvador. Eh, si ¿sí hay uno en El Salvador. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Debería, right? <laughs> It should be because we have the products, but no idea. Okay, thank you. That's a very nice description. We need to investigate more about it. That sounds good. Oh, I didn't know Maja Blanca was from, uh, from Guatemala, right? Yes. Wow, okay, nice. Okay, guys, um, tienen de otra or algo más que quieren agregar de Maja Blanca si tienen? Do you have any other idea? No. No? Okay. No. What about the uh, others? Encanto, uh, toilet paper, HP. Uh, um, I have a, a, another. Okay. Please uh, go ahead. Uh, Hiller Packer is an American company. They headquarter is in California, USA. Okay. Uh, they manufacture for everyone computers and all components. For example, keyboards, webcams, hard drive, motherboard, printers, laptops, among other. Okay. Only this. Okay, very nice. Do you have another guys? Anything else you want to add? Lo mismo que dijo Luis, you will say. <laughs> Algo que quieren agregar, guys, from this brand. Okay, I guess that is a no. And I think we are still missing one. And uh, guys, do you have the others? Alguien seleccionó los otros productos? Did you select the other products? No, miss. Okay. Anybody else? No, guys, only that. Those are the ones. So do you have the same? Carla, Eduardo, you have a different product, Isaias, Abigail, Eric. Yo igual colgate había seleccionado. Oh, okay, okay. But hay algo que quiera agregar de lo que dijeron los compañeros? Something they didn't mention? No, teacher. Lo único que yo tengo diferente es que Colgate is in Orilla, New York. Mm -hmm. New, New York. York. Y funda, oh. funded in El Salvador in 1970. Okay, 1970. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y oh, okay. the company produce products in the oral hygiene, <laughs> solamente. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that sounds all right. Yeah, guys, so everything you have eh, es diferente lo que el compañero tenga, right? So please, siéntanse en libertad de compartirlo. So don't worry. Okay, very nice job. So guys, vamos a movernos a little bit. So we're gonna move on and we're gonna check a couple of things here. So weird. Okay. Give me one moment. We just have something here. Okay. Okay, very good. So um, we do have one more thingy, but vamos a um, skipiarlo because eh, vamos a trabajar a little something here. First, give me one moment. Okay. Okay, guys. So um, antes, um, give me one second. Just a moment here. This is not working. Okay. Okay, guys. First, um, for tomorrow, I want you to work on the following thing. Les voy a dejar una tarea, pero es super cortita. It's very short. And I want you to 
write five questions about your your someone's job. Okay, guys. So para mañana en the Les voy a dejar una tarea aquí súper cortita. No les va a tomar más de cinco minutos, I think. Eh, que es hacer preguntas sobre los empleos, right? Or sobre el trabajo. What do I mean by questions? Well, eh, ustedes saben eh, hacer un par de preguntas, right? Like, por ejemplo, quiero saber qué haces. Uh, quizás cuánto tiempo o cuándo empezaste a trabajar en la empresa, cuánto tiempo has trabajado. Any question que se les ocurra que puede ser like important, interesting sobre el trabajo, we can include it. Cuando estudia libre, for example. So, que son preguntas that eh, no necesitamos más que el verbo to be a veces. Por ejemplo, when is your day off. So, ya estoy preguntando cuándo es el día libre, etc. So, cinco preguntas relacionadas con el trabajo. Les vamos a revisar el día de mañana. We're going to check on those eh, tomorrow. Y les vamos a practicar, of course, as well. Now, eh, antes de... Well, for the following thing, guys, ahora sí, oficialmente, we get into unit number two. Y para esta unidad vamos a revisar un poquito los pasados. So, um, creo que ya rayo un poquito con, ah, vamos a aprendernos, vamos a memorizarnos los verbos. But believe me, sí es importante. It's important to memorize them porque se les va a hacer la vida más fácil. So, let's take a look at this one. Tenemos acá una lista de algunos verbos súper comunes. Algunos los van a encontrar en la lista de verbos that I should. Otros probablemente no. But, ¿cuál es la diferencia o cuál es el punto en común de ellos? Interesting, porque se les llaman verbos irregulares. That means que algunos de ellos van a ser iguales. En otros van a cambiar. So, no llevan ningún patrón, no llevan algo de decir, ah, solo agregué S, solo agregué ING, por ejemplo, acá ya es diferente. Because ellos cambian drásticamente. Por ejemplo, I have do. Um, ¿Alguien ya se aprendió el pasado de do? Es do. Ah, ok. Very good. Exactly. So, imagínense, do, did. Pues se parece, pero no tanto. Now, I have, for example, um, the word, let me see, bueno, tenemos, eh, oh, ok. I have, for example, fly, de volar. And I want to say, ah, yo volé, yo viajé a otro país. país. So I have fly. What is the pass of fly? So el pasado, guys, es flu. Flu. Se parece, mm. pero no hay nada que tenga en común. So, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? A memorizarnos. Now, really quick, guys, les voy a dar cinco minutos. I'll give you five minutes. Eh, para que busquen estos verbos, pueden eh, open your, eh, la lista de, de verbos, right? Pueden revisar internet, se pueden ayudar, you can help each other, whatever you want. Now, vamos a hacer esto en grupos para que sea más rápido, right? So it can be easier y se pueden ir ayudando too. Eh, ustedes pueden deletrearlos en la idea es irlos completando, right? Complete the list. In groups. Les voy a dar la opción para que ustedes puedan anotar. O so pueden escribir sobre mi presentación. O eh, le toma captura y lo escriben en otro lado. O en your notebook, whatever you want. So guys, vamos a buscar los pasados de estos verbos. We're going to make a list of these verbs in past. No se preocupen por la pronunciación. Lo revisamos al regresar. Eh, right now, solamente completemos spelling, right? ¿Cuál es el pasado of these verbs? Eh, guys, lo voy a enviar cinco minutos. Ayúdense, colabórense. En, entre más rápido terminen, the easier and the faster it will be. So, five minutes, guys. Vámonos a los grupos and help each other, please. Ayúdense, guys.
Alrighty, guys. So sorry, but time is almost almost over, and I want to know um, how did it go? Lo pudieron terminar? Were you able to finish? It? Yes, Miss. Los encontraron, se ayudaron, o se lo sabían? Uno ya sabíamos, otros no. Very nice. Okay, I'm really glad to hear. So, ahora sí, guys, revisemos pronunciación and let's take a look at some of these verbs in past. Uh, give it one moment. Let's just go over here. Okay, guys, so, yeah, ya todo regresa. Okay, uh, so, ayúdenme con el pasado de break. So, we have break and the past is... Broke. 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 Very Broke. good. Broke. That's the one. Wait, se los voy a ir mostrando. I'm going to show them. Para que también vayamos comparando, right? So, so this is the first list, right? Tenemos break and broke. Um, the second, come, y el pasado es? Came. Come, came. Then we have do. Do, deal. So, do and deal. Next one, guys, is drive. Drive. Drove. Oh. Drove. Oh. So I drive, and if I want to say yo manejé, yo conduje, I say I drove, right? Yeah. Then we have drink. So drink, drank. 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 Exactly. So drink and drank. Eat. 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 Very good. Como el número ocho. Go. Win. 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 Excellent. Win. Give. Yes. 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 This one, yes. vamos a ponerle mucha yes. eh, atención en el sonido final porque yes. es como un gave. Mm -hmm. Gave. 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 Exactly. Yes. Termina como un mm -hmm. gave. Mm -hmm. yes. Next one. Have, has, has. Have, had, have, had, have, had, like, yo tuve un carro. I, I had a cat. La me a a la I had a dog. And the last one is no. So we have no de conocer. Y el pasado, el pasado es new. So no en new, right? De conocer. Miss, creo que alguien se le quedó abierto por el micrófono. So no en Yes, I listened. De, yo sabía, yo conocía, yo... Um, it's, you know, this one no es de la primera vez que me encuentro con alguien, sino es como... Ya varias veces, right? O por un tiempo prolongado conozco a alguien. So, I use no for that. Eh, por eso es que digo, I know you, yo te conozco. Y no, I, meet, I met you or I meet you, right? Uh, okay, vamos con la siguiente lista y luego las practicamos. So, tenemos el siguiente que es feel, like sentir. If I want to say, yo me sentía mal, yo sentí eso. Feel, felt. Guys, repeat with me. Feel, felt. Felt. Le vamos a contar. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Then we have fly flu. Fly, fly flu. 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 Y caerse es F I L L. Una letra hace la diferencia. So be careful with that. Felt. Fel. Te parece fel. mucho, right? Fel. Yo me caí. How can I say yo me caí? Fel. Fel. ¿Sí? Yo me caí. I fell. I fell down. But if I want to say yo sentía frío. I felt. I felt. Exactly. Then I digamos el, el, el feeling, right? There we go. Next one, guys. Forget, forgot. Forget, forget, forgot. Forget. Hit, hit. Hit, hit, hit. Hit, Cambia. Make, made. Make, made. 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 Met. Me, met. Put, put. Put, put. put. Read, read. Read, read. Send, send. 
Very good. There we go. And that's it, guys. Si ustedes se los aprenden, esto va a ser pan comido. Now, really quick. Um, escribamos algunos ejemplos. So, selecciona el cinco de estos. Select five verbs. Y escribamos sobre cosas que ustedes hicieron. Probably today, probably yesterday, probably when you were young, etc. For example, I can select um, give. El pasado de give es gave. El orden es exactamente el mismo que en presente. So, si yo quiero decir, uh, I give money to my friends, pero yo quiero decir esto de pasado, yo di dinero a mis amigos, lo único que hago es cambiar give por el pasado del verbo, que solo es una letra. I gave money to my friends. Y luego le podemos decir cuándo. Yesterday, el día de ayer, right? Yesterday, on Monday, on Tuesday, y sé que estamos hablando de pasados. So, guys, seleccionemos cinco verbos. Select five verbs de los que les cuesten más. Siempre hay algunos que nos cuestan un poquito más. And make sentences, please. So, let's try to make some sentences. I'll give you uh, like two minutes, two or three minutes, y las compartimos. So, two or three minutes. Questions, guys? Do you have any question? Any doubt? Dudas? Let me know, please. Teacher, a long time ago, I knew a good person. I'm sorry, Miss. Um, it broke me. Can you say that again? A long time ago, I knew a good person. Long time ago, I knew a good person. Okay, just to make sure I understand your sentence. Se quiere referir que hace mucho tiempo, um, el detalle es con no, I knew a good person. Um, por el contexto, yo lo cambiaría el no por meet, de conocer. Long time ago, I met a good person. Eh, porque no es como que todavía está sucediendo, but Eh, por el contexto, cambiem solamente cambiamos el no. Me one second. Let me see if I find it here. Por este verbo que es meet. So, solamente va a ser el cambio. Long time ago, I met. 
a good person. And later, le, solamente le, le comento por qué vamos a hacer el cambio. Hay una breve diferencia entre no and meet. Esto suena un poquito superficial, entonces por eso lo cambiamos a meet. No lo dejamos como bien exclusivo para la like family, let's say. But that was a really good example. Guys, do you have your examples ready? Not yet. Okay, um, so seleccionen solo los que son kind of new or los que les estén costando, the ones that you're having a hard time. Y si son todos, pues todos, guys. <laughs> but si ya se pueden algunos, right? You already know some. I'll give you two more minutes y comparamos. Teacher, that is correct to say, yesterday I came too late to my house. So you mentioned yesterday I came late to my house. Yes. It sounds all right. Solamente sin el to my house, probably. A come ya le dice que es como el lugar donde usted está ahorita. So yesterday I came late. Eh, se sobreentiende que es a, a su casa. Or yesterday I got late to my house. So el, el come ya se sobreentiende que, um, que es el lugar en el que usted está ahorita. One more minute, guys. Eh, Miss Copa de Tomar Scoop. Sí, ¿verdad? Como para vino. Yeah. Sería glass. Oh, como vaso. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Cup, por lo general, lo utilizamos como para café o para té. Si son cosas más grandes, eh, like el vino especialmente, sí sería un glass. A glass of wine. Ok. Okay. Okay. Already, guys. So give us some examples. Um, so I would like to listen to as many as we can and as many as possible. So, um, guys, what do you have? ¿Qué ejemplos tiene? ¿Qué ejemplos escribieron? Eh, I went to Santa Ana, the doctor. Okay, so I went to Santa Ana. The to the doctor. Sí. Al doctor, ¿verdad? To the yeah. doctor. Uh -huh. oh, okay, okay, okay. That's a really good one. Next okay. one, guys. The notes must give us more. I forgot my key. Okay. Se dice llave así, ¿no? Key. Mm -hmm. Oh, key. I forgot my key. Yes, but that's a good example. I forgot my key. I went to Santa Ana. Okay. Tenemos más. Do we have more? Uh, I sat 
email in my cell phone. Um, can you say that again? I send mail in my cell phone. Yo mandé, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. I sent emails in my cell phone. Yes, that works. Very good examples. Good job, Lupita. Okay, guys, next. So, Ivet, vamos, Ivet. You can do it. Say okay. it. So, Leima, Vanessa, Golders. I had to read a magazine. Very nice. I had to read a magazine. Mm -hmm. Okay. My friend went to the park. Good. Okay. Um, I have a good book. I have a good book. Okay. She had a dream. Oh, okay. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay. Pero dream de un sueño, ¿verdad? No dream. de tengo sueño. Uh -huh. no, okay. Dream. Okay. okay. Sounds super bien. Uh -huh. She, okay. Um, she has sent a message. Message. Mensaje. Oh, okay. So she sent a message. Okay. Message. Uh -huh. Very nice. Really good examples. Thank you. Yes, Luis. And then we go with Carla. So, Luis, go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, I forgot to pay the bills the last week. <laughs> Me too. Okay. I flew to many countries in my last job. Oh, seriously? Is that yeah. for real? Yeah. Wow, nice. No but, no okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I ate turkey on Christmas. Okay. And I had a fish, but it died. You had a fish? Uh, uh, yeah. Ah, okay. I, uh, I okay. had a fish, but it died. But, but it died. You ate it, I believe. <laughs> okay. Always. Thank you. Okay. Necesitamos Thank you. Eh, que nos cuente like, a qué lugares ha visitado, but later on. Thank you so much. Very nice. Carla. Yes, Carla. What do you have? Teacher, I went to visit grandmother. Okay. I okay. drank fresh water. Oh, okay. I broke the window. Oh, seriously? Okay. I had a red bike. O no okay. sé si es bike o bicycle. Mm, both are okay. I had a red bike. It's okay. I had a red bicycle. It's okay. Both are okay. okay. Ambas están bien, como usted prefiera. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y hay hay spaghetti. Spaghetti, no sé cómo se dice spaghetti. Spaghetti, yes. Spaghetti in the afternoon. Okay, I'm sorry. I think I missed it. Solamente dijo I ate, right? Como yo comí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yo ah, comí okay. spaghetti por la tarde. Okay. En la tarde. Okay. Yes, yes. Your sentence is good. Very nice. Very nice job, guys. Okay, I'm super glad. Um, Thank you. Yes? When, when, the, when Louis said uh, he has a fish, uh, and and the fish die or dead? Oh, that's a really nice question. De hecho, Luis lo dijo bien. That would be, and he died. Because died es el pasado del verbo morir. And dead is, no es el pasado. Dead es un adjetivo. Um, nos falta, no hemos revisado, guys, detenidamente pasado. Solamente estamos memorizando los verbos. Pero es súper válido. Si yo quiero decir, por ejemplo, estamos hablando de un animalito, entonces puedo utilizar it. It died. This is perfect. Murió. ¿Cuál es la diferencia mm -hmm. con dead? Dead no puedo decir y dead no tendría sentido. Lo que decimos es it is dead. Pero esto significa está muerto. Right? Entonces son co cosas, eh, son ideas diferentes. He died, murió. It is dead, está muerto. Eh, parece similar, pero sí es un poquito diferente. Eh, vamos a revisar más adelante los verbos regulares que nos faltan todavía, but son mucho más fáciles que los que vamos a memorizar. Entonces, little by little, guys. Super good job, muy buenos ejemplos. Eh, escuché algunos, pero me falta la mitad casi, guys. I'm missing the rest of you. And honestly, eh, guys, yo si quiero escuchar sus voces y me preocupa no escucharlos. I'm kind of worried 
eh, que estoy escuchando como a, a los mismos compañeros participando, me alegra, I'm happy, eh, porque lo están aprovechando, pero también me preocupa eh, para quienes casi no escuchamos, right? Because eh, eh, es muy importante eh, tenerlos en esto, especialmente escucharlos en, y que ustedes escuchen su progreso. Tú, guys, el día de mañana llevamos eh, full con Simple Pass. Eh, siempre les pido unos cinco minutitos antes de la clase. Eh, revisen, you know, unos dos minutos. Revisen los verbos. Intenten recordar uno que se prendan, dos que se prendan. Ya es ganancia y se les va a hacer más fácil everything. Antes que se vayan, guys, solamente les tomo asistencia. Let me go over attendance y me ayudan un momento con su cámara too. En, para que nos quede confirmación verbal en... También en cámara, uh, that you are here, please. So, regálenme confirmación. Camilo ya llegó a su casa. No sé si Camilo todavía ve en camino. Uh, David, David, espero. Ya lo escuché mejor, David. Are, are you feeling better? Yeah, I feel better today. Thank you. Ok, ya yeah, su voz escucha ya un poquito más clara, too. <laughs> But I'm glad. Uh, Debra. Thank you. Thank you. Edwin, creo que había Edwin por ahí. Present. Hey, Edwin, I'm glad to see you. How, how are you? Mm, bien, gracias. Okay, thank you. So, me alegra eh, verlo por aquí conectado y espero el día de mañana poder escucharlo un poquito más. Gracias por unirse a la sesión. Um, Lupita. Thank you, Lupita. Eh, Eric. Present teacher. Gracias, Eric. How are you? Um, Eric. Eric también me debe su voz. <laughs> I haven't heard you much. Esperemos que mañana we can count on you. Um, Abigail. Present teacher. Gracias, Miss. Abigail. Hasta ahorita le escuché la voz, Miss. <laughs> I'm missing you too. Uh, Griselda? Present, Miss. Gracias, Miss. Isaías? Present. Por ahí había Isaías. Gracias, Isaías. Thank you so much. Uh, Yvette? Present, teacher. Thank you. Javier? Present. Yes. Yes. Are you home? Did you get home too? Yes, I am. All right. Okay, glad to hear that. Uh, Jorge is there. Eduardo? Present teacher. Thank you, Eduardo. Uh, Carla? Present teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Cruz? Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Luis. Uh, Enrique? I mean, Luis Enrique? Uh, I'm here, Miss. Thank you, Manuel? Present, Miss. Thank you. Uh, Vanessa? Present. Yes, Miss. Ahora le escucho más. Very nice. <laughs> really nice job. Wendy? Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Hi. And Suleyma? Present. Thank you. Thank you, girls. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for that. And uh, guys, we are dismissed. Nos vemos el día de mañana. I hope we can uh, meet tomorrow. Have an amazing night. And see you guys. Um, Isaías, solo se me regaló un par de minutitos para nuestro one-on-one. -on -one. Guys, los demás estamos dismissed. Bye, everyone. See you okay, tomorrow. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, this is weird. Hi, say yes, me solo un segundito. Give me just a moment. And uh, let me just um, go over something here. Eh, ¿Qué tal, Isaías? ¿Cómo está? How are you? Isaías, me escucha. Can you hear me? Pero yo no le.
te escucho. No te escucho perfectamente. Ahora sí, ahora sí, ahora sí. Uh -huh. Qué raro. Ah, okay, this is weird. No, pero ahora sí. Uh, the, the thing is that you can hear me. Um, Isaías, dime un, un segundo. Eh, no le veo su nombre completo y para que no me le vayan a robar eh, minutos there. Eh, ¿Cuál es su apellido, Isaías? Santana, Isaías Santana. Santana. Okay, thank you so much. Ok, gracias por los, por los minutitos. Le voy a robar un par de minutitos para nuestro one-on-one. -on -one. El one-on-one -on -one por lo general es para revisar eh, si hay algo que, que le podamos apoyar, eh, si está teniendo dificultades con algún tema para darle refuerzo, word, asignar eh, tareas extra, right, or anything. Eh, primero, Isaías, me gustaría saber cómo se siente, how you feel, uh, cómo has sentido este módulo, you know. Um, me contaban los compañeros la semana anterior que obviamente han pasado dos, tres meses sin practicar, entonces es como de volverse a acostumbrar, right? What about you? ¿Cómo se siente? Bien, teacher, sé que lo siento más fácil que los otros. O sea, como oh, que lo entiendo. Ok, I'm happy to hear that. Me alegra, me alegra escucharlo. Ok. Yes, that is the purpose. ¿Hay algún tema que le esté costando ahorita o estamos bien? No, fíjese, estamos bien. A veces no, es que no participo porque primero la señal no llega. Oh. Mucho aquí, por Ciudad Futura quizás está cerca del... El penal. El penal, entonces por veces yeah. se corta. Ok. Es, a veces que vengo en camino también, pues. Ah, ok. ¿Trabaja lejos? En el mero centro por el Parque Ucatlán. Ah, okay. Sí, agarré toda la trabazón, me imagino. Hay no, veces que salgo a las 7 porque traigo a un compañero y por eso a veces vengo a trabajar. Pero lo importante es que siempre nos acompañe y que nos esté escuchando. Sí, de hecho, no, no lo he escuchado mucho, hay aptuviones. Ajá, por eso es que a ver. Ahorita me estoy aprendiendo como, me estoy memorizando las voces y es como, ah, esta voz no la he escuchado. No, pero yo como, por ejemplo, ya cuando estoy así, tengo lugar, escucho los, los videos. ¿vas? Por ejemplo, ayer estaba viendo que con la muchacha que quedó, le estaba dando como un, no me acuerdo que, un, 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 le iba a mandar un video a usted de un, me acuerdo cómo se llama. Ya, yeah, lo que pasa es que la compañera me comentaba que ella tenía dificultades con pronunciación. Con pronunciación, entonces. Eh, a mí me pareció, le voy a decir cuando tenga lugar, que si me puede enviar ese hueso o rang, algo así como que digo. Claro, uh, ya, yeah. se lo puedo compartir. Si gusta, escríbame a WhatsApp porque le puedo mandar el, el link, es mucho más fácil. Eh, pero le comento más o menos de qué se trata el ejercicio. Eh, especialmente porque a veces nos, no escuchamos, entonces la pronunciación se nos hace un poco complicada, right? Uh, lo que íbamos a hacer con la compañera del día de ayer, con Griselda, es practicar un auto, una lectura, de hecho, es una lectura. So, practicar sí, no, sí, la, la lectura, lectura, escribirla, y luego... Um, ella se iba a grabar, so, se va a grabar durante toda la semana, lo va a escuchar para que el día lunes ya eh, su pronunciación pues esté mucho más cercana y ya lo haya practicado lo suficiente. Uh, sí, me parece interesante, sí. le voy a preguntar si tiene, el, no sé, como que le voy a mandar a usted un video, no sé qué. Es un, es un ejercicio, de hecho, ya, ya se lo comparto en un segundo. Um, let me just take a look. Uh, ¿Siente que a uh, pronunciación le cuesta un poco también? No, no, a mí me pareció interesante el, el, el ejercicio o el, o el tema. Pues. Ok. Ok. Um, quick question is a yes. Um, did you... Did you study English with us from module number one or did you study English in another place? No, I didn't. Oh, okay, okay. So, inició eh, estudiando inglés con nosotros. Did you start here? Inicié, ya con esta sí la tercera, ¿eh? 
Um, but, pero me refiero a no había estudiado inglés antes, en otro lugar, por otros medios. Esa es la no, primera experiencia la que tiene. Okay. Sí, en la escuela, lo básico, digamos. Yeah, oh, okay. ok, ok. Este es el ejercicio. Si gusta, eh, dele clic, eh, lo guarde de Google para que o sea, le quede guardado. Entonces, lo que hacemos con este ejercicio es, um, cuando usted entre, le va a aparecer un audio. Entonces, usted uh -huh. lo escucha. Y tantas veces como sea necesario, ¿verdad? Right? Eh, Seco, se lo quiero, le quiero mostrar un pedacito para que lo practiquemos y then ya le queda listo for the next ok tengo que, ya yeah, ok ok so um, what we do in this case of scenarios is the following um, for example parte de la lectura incluye este pedacito donde tenemos muchos pasados también. So, um, my recommendation is, escuche el audio, re practíquelo, repítelo junto con la historia y cuando esté listo, empiece a grabarse. Uh, vamos a intentar leer el primer pedazo, a ver cómo nos va, ¿verdad? Right? Eh, si a usted le funciona igual que a la compañera, you know, eh, podemos aplicarlo a eh, futuras lecciones. If not, buscamos otra forma que nos ayude. So, lea okay. conmigo. It says, um, he never let his hair grow. He never let his hair grow. For. Okay, one more time. He never let. He never let. His hair grow. His hair grow. Okay. For more than two weeks. For more than two weeks. Mm -hmm. Otra vez, toda la primera. He never let his hair grow for more than two weeks. He never let his hair, he never let his hair grow for more than two weeks. Ok, una vez más. He never let his hair grow. He never let his hair grow. Let, let. 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 Uh -huh. He never he, let. He never let his, his hair, hair grow. grow. Hair. His hair grow. Hi, bro. Hair. Hey. Hey. Hair. Hair. Hey. Uh -huh. He never hair. let his hair. He never let he, let his hair grow for more than two weeks. Grow, grow for uh -huh. more than two weeks. Okay. More than. More, more than. More than. More than. Okay. okay, very good, very good. Vamos con el siguiente pedazo. The longer it got, the, long, the longer it got, the worse it looked. The worse, the worse it looked. 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 Y agrégame looked. una T ahí. Looked. Looked. Agrégame la T. Looked. 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 Look. Okay, otra vez. Look. 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 Okay. Okay. Now, pronunciamos la T solita. Look. 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 Okay, casi, casi, casi. Look. Look. La lengua de arriba abajo. Okay, wait. Look. 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 De hecho, en ninguno de los lugares, porque cuando usted dice como tomate, tomate, to -ma -te, la lengua toca la parte de atrás de los dientes, entonces va arribita. So, look. 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 Pero me falta la T todavía. Look. Como. Look. Look. Ok, ok, got it. Ok, closer, 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 closer. Y el último pedazo, he thought. He, he thought. thought. He thought. Ok, eh, no lo lea, sino escúcheme. He thought. He, he thought. thought. He thought. Ok, again, thought. Thought. Ok, ese sonido es diferente. Nosotros uh -huh. no lo tenemos en español, entonces lo forzamos un poco. Las, 
el primer sonido es como una eh, to, pero to de española, como zapato, corazón. Entonces va como un thot. Such. Uh -huh. Such. Okay. Do. Y ahora termina el sonido. Thot. Such. Ok, very good, very good. He thought. He thought. He thought. He thought. Casi, pero saque la lengua al inicio. Thought. He thought. Ok, ok. Almost there, almost there. Entonces, este ejercicio de eso se trata. Y usted repita, 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 you know, hasta que el sonido salga lo mejor que se pueda, um, que mejoremos nuestra pronunciación. So, vamos a hacer lo mismo, eh, Mr. Santana. Eh, ¿Encontró el link? ¿Le, le cargó? Sí, ya, ya lo voy a buscar, porque sí, ya lo copié. De... Vaya, perfect, perfect. Entonces, escúchelo, porque ahí está la grabación, Elisa. Vaya leyéndolo, vaya despacio, atrásenlo, adelántelo con usted y le funcione. Y cuando ya esté listo, por ahí por el domingo, yo no que está descansando, grábese. Record it. Si lo necesita grabar unas 20 veces o por pedacito para que le salga bien, no hay problema. La idea es al final eh, mejorar la pronunciación, right? Y probablemente vayan a ver palabras nuevas como thought, como look que las puede buscar en el diccionario y crear su propio diccionario uh, con vocabulario que usted utilice, right? So, vamos a hacer esto. Eh, envíeme el audio para el día lunes, para la próxima semana, para que usted ya lo pueda practicar un poquito el fin de, right? Uh -huh. Y me cuenta la otra semana cómo le fue, uh, si le funcionó, si lo practicó, si aprendió vocabulario nuevo y una pronunciación nueva, etc. Uh -huh. es, uh -huh, ok, perfect, perfect. Disculpe que no me fijé la hora, ya le robé bastante tiempo. Ahí estoy, son minutes of your time. So, eh, Isaías, gracias por quedarse. Thank you for your time. Eh, seguimos practicando mañana. Isaías, quiero escucharlo más. <ríe> uh, quiero escucharlo un poquito más en clase. El problema es que el, el, la señal por veces se me va y cuando Pero veo si ya... Pero si no escríbelo, utiliza el chat. Ayer, ayer no sé si me sacaron o qué, pero cuando vi ya no estaba ahí. Qué raro, y como venía, venía manejando y me tuve que parar y volver a entrar. Oh, that's so Ajá. bad. Ya después, ya, después que estaba, ya después que estaba viendo el video, vi que usted dijo... Isaías no está, pero ahí venía, entonces, pero ya leía, ya perdí, la, con, perdí la, oh. la señal o no sé. Sí, es que a veces Ajá. yo veo algunos que están y de repente es like, ¿qué pasó? ¿Dónde se fueron, right? Bueno, pero me alegra que ah, escuché va, el sí. video later. Usted preguntó, usted preguntó y, y vaya, y yo, pero ahí ya no me salió la, pues, pues seguí, va a seguir escuchándola. Sí, quizás en algún la momento se, la señal está malita. Bueno, pero en la medida de lo posible, mm -hmm. cuando usted, you know, eh, cuando hay alguna pregunta, usted participe y así aprovecha para cuando no tenga señal. <laughs> Thank you, Zayas. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye.